welcome to Britain's Best Breaks, the programme which takes you to the UK's finest holiday destinations. Today we're in the heart of Robin Hood country in a truly great and historic British city, Nottingham. This is an exciting and lively city with a very cosmopolitan feel to it. Nottingham can match any capital in Europe for style, culture, cuisine and sport. And the lush surrounding county of Nottinghamshire is brimming with things to see and do. It's not only literary giants that Nottingham is famous for. Here at Trent Bridge Cricket Ground, there's some very hallowed turf indeed. The River Trent flows close by and a walk along its pleasant banks is a must for any visitor to Nottingham. And who needs to be in London when you can shop in Nottingham? All the big names are here, where you'll find great retail centres such as the Victoria and Broadmarsh, with an enticing market atmosphere along the busy centre side streets in the lace market, at one time the heart of Britain's lace making industry. Nottingham is just off the M1 motorway. It's one of Britain's most accessible areas, with good road and rail links. And since the arrival of the tram, it has one of Britain's best urban public transport systems. Nottingham has some great scenery and some fabulous history. There's been a castle in Nottingham since 1068. It was built by William Peveril on the orders of William the Conqueror. But this is the original gatehouse which used to have a drawbridge and where I'm standing used to be the moat and if you linger here long enough you can just about imagine the Sheriff of Nottingham and his men riding through that gate. From high up on Castle Hill you can take in a breathtaking panorama of the city. Boats bobbing on the picturesque Castle Marina by the canal are something of a surprise in a city so far from the sea. Nottingham's pride and joy, the state-of-the-art Royal Centre, is where some of the biggest names in music top the bill each week. With the Warner Cinema and Café Complex opposite, this area is a magnet for leisure seekers. The Theatre Royal is a piece of Victorian splendour, a principal touring venue for many West End shows and new plays. Nottingham, home to Torval and Dean, also boasts the National Ice Centre and Arena, another great venue for major events. Nottingham's bright, modern Broadmouth shopping centre holds a dark, subterranean secret. What lies beneath here will take you by surprise. Beneath the hurrying footsteps of 21st century shoppers lies another world, the City of Caves. The people of Nottingham have used this warren for centuries as a refuge and a place of work. And here at the Enchanted Well, you can toss a coin and make a wish. There's an ancient tannery down here and the stench would have been absolutely awful. There's even a World War II air raid shelter. The City of Caves is definitely one of Nottingham's most unusual places to visit. This may be an innocent looking civic building, but behind these doors lurks fear and dread. Voted both Museum of the Year and Family Attraction of the Year, Nottingham's Galleries of Justice will transport you back to a time when British law was a very harsh taskmaster. From the cells it was a short journey to the hanging room, a chilling place to visit and one which will stay in your memory. In the old courtroom you can feel the fear. Over a century ago this is where the smallest crimes were dealt with with extreme severity and even the most minor misdemeanour could result in transportation to the colonies. Catherine York, you stand before this court accused of the most serious crime, that is impersonating a TV presenter. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honour. Nottingham Lace is known all over the world and 120,000 textile workers made their living here in the lace market. The restored factory buildings represent some of the city's finest architecture. Here's a genuine curiosity. Ye olde trip to Jerusalem is built on caverns carved into the rocks below Nottingham Castle. It's reckoned to be Britain's oldest pub. Scenery as beautiful as this has always inspired Nottingham's poets and writers.
As well as local hero Robin Hood, this is also the county of literary giants D.H. Lawrence and Lord Byron who lived here. And it was also in Nottingham that Alice Zillito set his classic novel Saturday Night and Sunday Morning. Number 8A Victoria Street in Eastwood is today the home of the D.H. Lawrence Birthplace Museum. Over a century ago, the novelist's father, an illiterate miner, would make his way back here after a weary shift at the Brinsley Colliery. The house has been completely restored to show how the Victorian working class lived. Admission is free, the museum is open daily until 5pm and next door there's a well-stocked gift shop. From such an unpromising background, the infant who slept here went on to write classic novels that reflected his upbringing, like Lady Chatterley's Lover, The Rainbow and Sons and Lovers. Nottingham's famous Goose Fair is one of Europe's biggest travelling fairs. It's been running for over hundreds of years and they reckon that only the plague and two world wars have stopped it from happening. In the first week of October, you'll find one of the biggest fairs in the country. There's all the fun of the fair here, with over 450 attractions. What you won't find are geese for sale. The fair is thought to take its name from the 20,000 geese the Lincolnshire farmers used to drive here for a tasty Michaelmas feast. No, we haven't suddenly landed in Thailand. This is the traditional three-wheel taxi so popular in the Far East and used here in Nottingham to take you to the enticing Luk Prator restaurant. Here you'll experience something Robin Hood probably never enjoyed – good Thai cooking, prepared by Grand Master Chef Luke in beautiful and authentic surroundings. One of Nottingham's most popular restaurants is Fresh in Hockley, and as you'd expect from the name, all the dishes are prepared freshly and cooked to order. Cheers! The menu is fabulous, with amazing fish dishes, aromatic Thai dishes and an extensive range of vegetarian and low-fat options to suit all dietary requirements. It offers great value for money too. Fresh's minimalistic decor, fantastic bay windows and attentive but unobtrusive staff help to create a relaxed atmosphere, whether it's the hustle and bustle of lunchtime diners or the intimate table settings at night. It's the perfect environment to enjoy your meal. There's a wonderfully cosmopolitan feel about Nottingham which is typified by the great atmosphere here at Skin, one of the city's most popular bars and restaurants. glows with warmth and invitation at night and with a late license until 2am the bar is a favourite haunt of Nottingham's night owls. If you're into thrills, spills and speed then you'll find them all here at the Langar Karting and Quad Centre. Here you can feel the rush of indoor karting and off-road action and in your helmet, gloves and goggles you'll even look the part. you can test your skills on the ultimate quad trail. All you need is sensible footwear, a change of clothes and your nerves. Inside the huge hangar you'll find a 350 metre track complete with flyover and underpass where you can put your 200cc cart through its paces. Langer Karting and Quad Centre run 200cc Honda carts which are unrestricted and get up to speeds around 40 miles per hour around the track. All drivers receive a state-of-the-art computer printout detailing a progress graph and every lap completed, plus your position and your best lap time.
When it comes to dining out in Nottingham, you're spoilt for choice. The Jewel is one of the city's oldest established Indian restaurants, where high standards are the order of the day. There's innovation in the kitchens at the Jewel too. What I particularly liked is that you could go for a healthy option from the menu, where your meal is cooked in the minimum amount of oil, and it's all but evaporated by the time your meal is prepared. That said, I decided to go for the full works. Thank you. Nottingham is a cosmopolitan city with a whole range of delicious foods from all over the world. Red Hot Buffet Shacks is like a whole lot of the best restaurants all rolled into one. Here you can taste food from all over the globe under one roof in a big celebration of international cooking. You can eat what you like from wherever you like and there's a nice bit of theatre in watching the chefs at work. Pile your plate with all your favourite flavours from Chinese, Thai, Italian, Indian and many other popular cuisines. It's a really lively and sociable place with lots of opportunities to mill around and interact while you're feasting your eyes on the buffet. Delicious. For a fun day out for all the family, the Wonderland Pleasure Park at Farnsfield has something for everyone. From drop slides and bouncy castles to splashing about in water, it's all here. Here in the tropical house, you'll find more than 200 free-flying butterflies from over 20 different species, and even see them make the transition from chrysalis to butterfly in front of your very eyes. Riding on a roller coaster is one thing, but there's a double thrill when there's a runaway train passing underneath. After all that excitement, the adults can relax a while, but there's still plenty for the children to do and see, all in some beautiful countryside. Wonderland is a terrific day out, whatever the weather. Lovers of Chinese food flock to this beautiful and lively restaurant on the edge of Nottingham's famous deer park, Woolerton Park. It's a superb dining experience and a popular venue for corporate and business events and a great family favourite. In the centre of 21st century Nottingham, you'll find the most modern accommodation right here at the Express by Holiday Inn. This is the city's most recently opened hotel. Here you'll experience the ultimate in contemporary style with all the facilities you'd expect, yet offering a serene atmosphere in which to sit back, take a break and relax. As well as the comfortable bar, there's a varied menu on offer in the restaurant. This is just one of the Express by Holiday Inn's 120 stylish rooms, complete with power showers and fully air-conditioned. There really are havens of peace due to the quadruple glazing, which really keeps the bustling city noise at bay. And after a good night's sleep, you can enjoy your complimentary continental breakfast. I love a pan au chocolat. <laughs> They like their nights out to be big, bold and a bit outrageous in Robin Hood's day. You can let your hair down much the same way at the complete medieval banqueting experience at the Sheriff's Lodge. Hire a homespun garment or a little velvet number and tuck into ancient dishes such as Sherwood vegetable potage and wash it all down with unlimited ale, cider and wine. Now you know why Robin Hood's men were so merry.
Well, you've seen the films and here's the location, the real one, Sherwood Forest itself. Here not only is the colourful legend of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves celebrated, this is also an area of genuine ancient woodland, a real piece of Britain's heritage. This is probably one of the most famous trees in England. The venerable major oak has stood here for over five centuries and legend has it that it grew from an acorn from the original tree in which Robin Hood once hid. <laughs> I've just stopped the world and got off at Centre Park Sherwood Forest. It's deep in the North Nottinghamshire countryside and it's natural wilderness full of the most unexpected things. You wouldn't expect to find a Roman inspired villa in the middle of Sherwood Forest, but this palatial building is Aqua Sauna. It's built on two of the finest spas in the country. They've got endless ways to pamper and relax you from an Indian blossom steam room to a Turkish hammam and an idyllic Zen garden. It's all multi-sensory and you can just drift from one sublime experience to another. On the treatment side, you can indulge in everything from mud baths to dry flotation and hot stone therapy. They'll wrap you in everything from seaweed to champagne and strawberries. And they've even got dual rooms for couples. This is sensational, the Nottinghamshire forest outside and this subtropical swimming paradise inside. Life's a beach, they've even got bananas growing in here. In this amazing setting, you can jump the waves, simmer away in the whirlpool baths and launch yourself down the 200 meter Grand Cascade raft ride. Cycling's almost universal here and it's an exhilarating ride over the heathland to the country club. If you're feeling energetic, you can tee off at the golf driving range and finish up at Hugo's Restaurant, an all-day eating place. You can enjoy the natural beauty and get close to the wildlife in so many different ways, including privileged glimpses of the birds and animals from these hushed and secret hides. There's a chance to discover even more of this hidden world at the Nature Centre. You're encouraged to watch the webcams and put things under the microscope and pick up all kinds of interesting facts about the flora and fauna. This is one of Centre Park's executive villas. It's light and bright, stylish and comfortable, and there's everything you need for a relaxing short break. There's a wide choice of accommodation here with the villas cleverly arranged in small clusters. Each has its own private patio, which is ideal for barbecues, with a lovely outlook onto the forest. In the early 19th century, there were 20 working windmills in the Nottingham area, and this Greens Mill was the most advanced, and it's still grinding grain and making flour today. The 19th century miller here was George Green, destined to become one of Britain's most famous mathematicians and scientists. Nottinghamshire has a rich heritage of ancient inns and pubs, and the delightful Stonyford Lodge is a fine example. Stonyford Lodge is a cosy and inviting 17th century coaching inn. Here in the restaurant you can enjoy a meal from the carvery or a selection from the popular a la carte menu. You don't necessarily have to be on your honeymoon to enjoy this comfortable honeymoon suite. There's no time warp at Stonyford. This is the inn's very 21st century nightclub. And when you've hit the dance floor, recharge your batteries in the relaxing chill out room. Think of a game that offers you exercise, fresh air and beautiful countryside, and it has to be golf. Here at the Ramsdale Park Golf Centre in Calverton in Nottingham, everyone is welcome, and it's particularly suited to beginners. Once you've polished your swing, you're ready for the shorter game offered by this wonderful par 3 course. There's plenty of challenge for your iron shots and surrounded by all this peace and tranquility, you can really concentrate on your game.
This is golfer's heaven. Here in the Ramsdale Park Golf Store, you'll find everything you need, with help and advice to get you into a game which is becoming more and more popular. And you never know, the right equipment might even improve my game. Welcome to the privately owned Saffron White and Green Hotel. It's a basic, unpretentious place to stay, well equipped and good value for money. The hotel is very handy for the city, just a mile out of the centre and a short walk from the tram stop. The clever thing here is the very imaginative multi-cuisine menu. You don't have to have any of those family squabbles about where everyone would like to eat. The restaurant serves Indian, Thai and Chinese cuisine as well as continental dishes and classic fast food favourites. Nearby Newark is an historic market town just begging to be explored on foot. King Charles I was a prisoner in the castle here, but he wouldn't have been able to look out on such a fine waterfront as there is here today. Here's a real step back in time into Nottinghamshire's past. The Millgate Museum is brimming with nostalgia. You'll be able to spot all kinds of domestic objects in this fascinating gallery of 20th century life. You can get a real sense of what life was like around 1900 when you walk down this reconstructed imaginary street and wander in and out of shops and businesses. It all feels very authentic. The old plough in at Newark is irresistible, just the place to wind down after a day's sightseeing and activity. It's a charming old hostelry, offering warmth, good food and hospitality. And here at the plough's comfortable lounge and dining area, you can really relax. If you prefer more of a rural feel to your Nottingham shirt break, then you'll enjoy the accommodation on offer at the privately owned Grange Hotel in Newark, just a short drive from Nottingham. Here there's a choice of 19 attractive ensuite bedrooms. This is the marvellous four-poster room, just the place to stretch out and plan tomorrow's expedition. And there's the critically acclaimed Cutler's Restaurant with its extensive menu and superb wine list. The Grange really does make a super place for a weekend break. Southall is a hidden gem, a cathedral town in miniature. Its great soaring minster is little known outside the county, and yet it's one of the finest ecclesiastical buildings in England, with a thousand years of history. It has a magnificent Norman nave and a stunning 13th century chapter house, and the pepper pot spires are a landmark for miles around. Here in Southwell in Nottinghamshire, you can enjoy the rural calm of a country town which is crowned by the ancient glory of Southwell Minster and the welcoming Saracen's Head Hotel. King Charles I stayed here and so did the Beatles. Rooms like this one with its magnificent four-poster bed and elegant period bathroom show just why the Saracen's Head has remained a favourite right down the centuries. Dining at the Saracen's Head is a true delight. Good food, service and comfort are on offer to everyone, kings or pop stars. Oh, and presenters. Thank you. Oh, it looks lovely. Lemurs are the last thing you'd expect to find in the secret and secluded heart of the Nottinghamshire countryside but they're part of the family here at the Wetlands Waterfowl Reserve and Animal Park, along with other exotic breeds such as wallabies and prairie dogs. They're all so at home here in this family-run haven. You can comfortably chat with a chipmunk or natter with a yak in the 32 acres of natural lakes and woodlands. You could be anywhere in the world when you shut your eyes and listen to the sounds of the birds and animals. In fact, you're only 30 minutes from Nottingham. For a perfect base from which to explore Nottingham and its surrounding attractions, the welcoming comfort of the 16-bedroom Nuttall Lodge Hotel is ideal. 
The rooms are all en suite, and for that special treat, why not pamper yourselves with the luxurious jacuzzi room, complete with king-size bed, TV and video. And the Nuttall Lodge will even serve you a champagne breakfast, the perfect way to start the day. Only a few minutes from the city centre, the Nuttall is a genuine oasis for travellers. After a long day sightseeing, unwind in the comfortable lounge bar, watch the TV or enjoy a meal in the dining room. Thank you. Nottingham has a European feel. It's somehow forward-looking and optimistic. Perhaps it's the clang of the tram bells or the buzz of the cafe bars. It's a city where you can do almost anything you want. They call Nottingham the Queen of the Midlands and it's a title the city can bear with pride. As a location for one of Britain's best breaks, this exciting and vibrant place has much to offer. So until next time when I'll be taking you to yet another destination where you can enjoy one of Britain's best breaks, goodbye for now. If you've enjoyed today's show of Britain's Best Breaks, call our DVD and video hotline on 0845 1300 353 and buy your copy of this or any other show in the series. Or log on to www.britainsbestbreaks.tv for the show of your choice.